Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, we just hit the dirt road on our way to probably one of my favorite places on earth, um, Ochibamba Safaris. We are here for three or four days. Um, the other oaks are joining us tomorrow, so hopefully we can get a nice and productive afternoon in before they arrive and um, hopefully get some first blood. Joining me on this trip right now is the Evan Ginger Devan behind the camera and then um, Mark Rio Don, yeah, driving us around. So yeah, we'll get to know all the guys a little bit better, a little bit better, and um, stick with us, stay tuned, and hopefully um, something is to death this afternoon. Okay, zoom in on the target, Marco. <laughs> Yeah, you can, I can mine it on. So. Yes, Jelle, raak het pijlen. Day two of our Ochibamba hunting trip. We forgot to take an intro, yes. Uh, you guys will have to listen to me on the voiceover, sorry. Daniel and myself and uh, my brother are on our way. We woke up three o'clock in the morning to join the lads who had the previous day not had any success, even though they had, were full draw on a giant ramp. Here you can see them going out hunting the morning session, whilst we are fast on our way approaching Ochibamba, excited for what was a long wait over this year and um yeah so the morning doesn't start very quickly and it's cold as always so i'll leave you guys where they're getting dropped off at the hide okay good morning
Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we just got settled in our first full day of hunting here. So last, last night um, we had a few mishaps, so hopefully we can, um, not, not bad mishaps, just um, had opportunities we didn't take or couldn't take, so hopefully we can justify them this morning. And I think the goal will just be to get something on the ground before Viana and the other guys arrive at 12, 12 each o'clock. So. Yeah, I'll stick with stay tuned and hopefully it goes better than last night. Marco and Paul are in Berghide and uh, even though they've got some nice impalas in, um, they were all drinking head on and they never managed to get a shot. <laughs> Meanwhile, for Diavan on his side, uh, he was also having a bit of activity here you can see he's seeing a nice uh, steam, steam back ram and uh, he also had a lot of bird activity and even a herd of impalas come in but opting not to take the shot as uh, he was hoping for a giant ram a bit later on. We are here guys, we finally made it back to Ochibamba. I'm joined by Daniel. He's it's his first time here. And my bro. Oh, yeah. You guys have also seen him before. It was his first time here. The rest of our hunting still we came in about nine o'clock this morning. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. We've set up the bows, we're busy setting up the bows, and uh, we set up the food places and everything. And um, we're just waiting for the rest to join us back. I'm not quite sure what Paul has got in store for you guys. On the trigger punch bandit side or what he has filmed so far i don't even know if they have something yet because we don't have phone signal here yeah. but uh yeah we have finally made it it's been a year we ready to rock and roll so please stay tuned we're just going to get everything ready and i think the next time you guys will see us we'll be probably going out to go do an afternoon session i think so yeah stay tuned for that we'll see you guys there Daniel, but the yeah yes no excited yeah sit down pull up Awe, Awe, Mr. Diavan is ahead. My bro, is that less cool? <laughs> In Ag, but Gaurav was there. My brother and I went to Valibius Pan on the first afternoon set that we had together. It wasn't too busy, but we did manage to see some nice animals, these giraffe being some of them. Uh, we saw a herd of kudu later on in the evening. We had <laughs> a squirrel coming in to eat some nuts and a lot of bird activity. In terms of hunting opportunities, the only one we got is uh, this one and uh, it's quite interesting what transpired. Yep, that's right, I got beaten by Egyptian geese coming flying in and landing. I don't know what the odds are and what my luck was going to be. That uh, that wasn't a good start. <laughs> anyway, and there's the kudus I was mentioning earlier. Cheers, boys. Oh, hey, boy. Right. Morning, Joe. Morning, Joe. Gonna get one today? Yeah. Okay, well, let's go.
Unfortunately for my brother, he ended up making a shot that was too high. This just goes to show that hunting doesn't always go as planned, even though you practice a lot beforehand. You always want to make the most ethical shot you possibly can. And I was feeling bad for my brother. He was really feeling it, but uh, that's all part of hunting and, and learning. Meanwhile, Paul absolutely drilled a steam bug at 40 yards. Marku drilled a Willibis cow. Jovan also got himself an epic ram. Daniel also got in on the action with uh, his first impala with the bow or animal with the bow, so to speak. Day three ended up turning out pretty good and uh, it was really one for the books. Like a boy's morning three, huh? And the uh, man is rag. And you also must see the man is rag. And we boys, morning three. And uh, we all do a couple of bucks. Alright, boys, let's go. Not even an hour into our sit and this herd of impala come and I decide the big ram didn't give me a shot the one that's walking away so I decide to go for the younger ram and just get some meat in the freezer. Although my shot initially looked good to me and to my brother in normal speed, 
after looking at the camera footage I realized it was a bit high and that e the animal jumped me a bit but also that uh, it initially did start a bit high so this as you guys can see had me a bit stressed out hey, Tom. I, saw, I saw the shot he jumped me he was about I know you guys saw he was at 20 yards and uh, scorching towards and he jumped me quite a bit so I went in high but I think I might caught lungs. We saw a lot of blood as it was running. But um, we're going to just wait it out. As my long anxiety filled wait started, the rest of the blokes were having a good time in the other heights and it was pretty warm. Marku first up with this nice impala ram that he ended up harvesting. He had to wait quite a bit for him, let's just say that. absolutely drilled that impala ram and now next we go over to Diavan in his hide was also having a good time with the falcon catching a guinea fowl an ostrich coming in and loads and loads and hordes of impala coming to the water and it wasn't long before an impala ram stepped out that he knew he definitely wanted to take He had to wait quite a bit for this ram, but eventually got the time to make the shot. The Avant's first shot being high, he quickly put in another arrow, making the animal expire within seconds. Next we move over to Daniel, who also was having a good day, and uh, he went off to this ram. Even the <laughs> sorry for the footage, it might have been a bit zoomed in. His uh, his cameraman who was helping him wasn't. He wanted to really see an up close view of where the arrow hit, but um, yeah, he ended up getting a nice old mature ram as well. The gents were doing good. Devon harvesting, Daniel harvesting, Marku harvesting. And uh, then <laughs> I, as you guys might have noticed, am still waiting. And so we catch my, my, up with me where I just start going out searching for blood. I never could find a lot of blood. Um, so I, we ended up getting the dogs in and uh, Umtinas came to help us out. And uh, yeah, let's see what transpired. Okay guys, so it's about four hours after you guys saw me shoot this Impala. Um, yeah, to say it's been a tough one is uh, putting it lightly. Um, as you guys can see, I don't know, but you come from As you guys can see, uh, shot went in very high. Sorry, shot went in very high, deflected, and came out down here below the stomach. So it was quartering towards like this, and it came out down below the stomach. We're assuming it cut a bit of lung, maybe liver, I'm not sure, and obviously the stomach. But yeah, we got him. Actually, I didn't get him. We, I was on a totally different route. We were searching like we, the blood stopped, and um, we were searching the whole area, and about 600 meters away from the from the hide. Um, uh, Umtinas found him and uh, yeah, he played, played a bit of a prank. We forgot the camera because we didn't know what was happening. He called us from here, we ran to him and then he said he found my arrow. We just have to go searching for it. It's it, like it's right over there and then we have to follow it. And uh, he hit the buck there. So <laughs> quite, a, quite a good 
Got a good practical joke in a, in a heartfelt moment, but I'm, I'm just very relieved, guys. I think in all, we walked about 4Ks now, uh, searching for it. So I'm just relieved that he's now gonna be on the bucky. Gonna be some bolting in the freezer. So let's get back into the hide and see if we can't get some more. For those of you still watching, Lucky Marku got to go hunt another Villabias shortly off the hide, smoking him. I'm just bordering away shot. But yeah, that's gonna do it from us guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Ochibamba video for 2021 We're really looking forward to going back next year and Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and um, Yeah, look out for some more videos coming after this one I think the zebra videos are next for our zebra hunt that we did. So yeah, look out for that and stay tuned. Have a good one